Nada Plus, home of TV hits, with Mitra at 8, right after Who Do You Do? <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the show. I have only one request that I'd like to make of you this evening. In the event of fire, please remain in your seats. <laughs> yes, you see, in that way I can get out first. <laughs> <laughs> Stanley? Stanley! <laughs> Dr. Livingstone, I presume. <laughs> Sitting Bull's camp. I know, but where are we going? <laughs> Do you remember the night of the 23rd? Yes. Dreamy, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, we've been asked. We've been asked to do a request this evening from a woman. A woman in the audience who's celebrating her 25th wedding anniversary. She has been married 25 times. <laughs> So for Elizabeth, I would like to present her with their favorite singing stars, starting with that great singer, Mr. Johnny Mathis. A certain smile, a certain face, can lead an unsuspecting heart on a military A fleeting glance can say so many things suddenly you'll know where my heart is Perry Cole you love the world and when love goes you'll try to hide Tears inside with a tearful pose. <laughs> Chop. Hello again. Pity you're not watching next week, cause we got my cousin Gladys Grantfatuk on the show. <laughs> yes, oh yeah, Gladys. Oh, now there is a fine figure of a man. Yes, no, no. The producer he said to me, now what has she done before? I said, well, Ducky, she start. No, she started out as a. It's true. Started out as a member of the oldest profession. <laughs> yes, she was an apple picker. <laughs> but now here is a performer who is really my idol. As a matter of fact, I based my whole style on him, Mr. Rob Wilton. <laughs> the, the day I was called to the bar, Charlie Evans said to me, said, it's my round. <laughs> Name your poison. I said, Kenneth Williams. <laughs> Still, I wish I had his head stuffed on my mantelpiece. <laughs> but now, on with the show and in with the earplugs as we welcome the painfully shy Mr. Elvis Presley. <laughs> Hi, Sam. Thanks a lot, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, it's nice to be here in your wonderful country. I want to shake my leg, my bum falls right off. I want to sing one more time. <laughs> now I'd like to sing my latest song. <laughs> Sorry! Sorry! <laughs> Mr. Tony Bennett. No, it's just the one. <clears throat> But in that night, exactly like a bit of sweet weef wings, 
comes the seven times Remember, I think he was probably one of the greatest cowboys that ever was. Do you remember Robert Mitchum? I never did get the voice right. It's <laughs> one of the <laughs> yeah? How did you do in your first day as a window washer? Well, I'll tell you, I was cleaning the window when this beautiful, gorgeous woo, blonde came into the bathroom. And she took all her clothes off, every stitch. What happened then? And then, and then the ladder broke. It must have been a pretty rotten ladder. Well, when there's 40 fellas on a ladder, who else cares? <laughs> Hello, Long John. <laughs> Hasn't it been a funny day today? Aye. Why don't he come with me to the Admiral Bembo Inn? Tavern! <laughs> <laughs> Admiral Bembo Tavern. It's only three miles down the road. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Four miles down the road, we'll have a grand meal cooked by Jim the Chef. Well! <laughs> <laughs> What By we... Bill the chef. What are we going to have? Shoot, parrot! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, yes, you know. When I was with the desert rats, oh, my word. Oh, glory. I remember, you know. I was all right. What a great time. What a wonderful time. Excuse me. You were just... I was alone in the desert, you know, just behind this sand dune, and suddenly this great fellow came along and do you know... Excuse me. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching you, son, you know. And I'm sort of under the impression, you see. You're attempting an impression of a television celebrity, you know? Well, I was, you know, but, uh, you see... Oh, yes, will you Lord. pardon me, will you? <laughs> You'll pardon me, you see, if I'm labouring under a misapprehension like, you know, but it's not a bit like him, you see. No, no, just no, not all, son. I've studied this fellow, you know. Oh, yes. Near as damn it, that impression, you know? Near as damn it. Yeah. Um, could be him, you know. Uncanny. Well, I'm very sorry, you see, son, but I just don't see it, you see. <laughs> oh. oh, glory. <laughs> I next performer on this alleged show is a man of whom it can be truly said he has real humility. So stand by for the most humiliating few moments you'll <laughs> know. <laughs> Friends, thank you very much. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I want to say I'm very happy we are to be here. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, my name is Huey Green, and I just, as you can see, I've just been playing double your tummy. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy, well, my name's Spanish Name Mudley. <laughs> <laughs> When you're daft, you're <laughs> Timber shivered while you wait. Who might you be? <laughs> <laughs> Caribbean, the scourge of the seven seas, Long John Silver, OBE. <laughs> <laughs> uh, OBE? I be fine and OBE. <laughs> this town ain't big enough for both of us. All right, I'll diet. Let <laughs> 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 me. Ha, 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 ha.
Im. Im Buine. Im Buine. Im Buine. For my next impression, I would like him. <laughs> you know, if only they made a bigger campaign in this country during my time of power, if only it had promised the people of this country a little bit more, and kept me promised. <laughs> if only I did a better impression of my girl. <laughs> if only I had a boat. Anyway, it's, <laughs> it's back to show business. Yeah. I don't believe in if anymore. <laughs> if said a again. And the same to you. Well, I'm here, son. I was wondering if we could revive, you know, a few memories of the desert. Ah, oh, yes, the desert. The sand gets everywhere, you know. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, it's a little that, isn't it? But never mind. Oh, no, no, you see, I was just casting my mind back, you know, to those long desert nights, you know, the Eighth Army. Oh, the sheer honour of it all. Ah, uh -huh. shell fire. Answer. <laughs> yes. You know, I remember that with aid of the bit of corrugated iron uh -huh. and a few bits of selected scrap metal and a few bits of shrapnel, I used to entertain the lads, you know. Oh, with this. Really? Yes. And that's all. And, uh, well, and well, what did you do with that? Well, I'll do with it, son. Yeah. Played it, lad. Played it. Now then, what do you think about uh, the Sheik of Arabi? Oh, a very good idea. And a chorus of Tommies. Ha <laughs> 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 right. Splendid. Right. Here we go then. Right. Two for free. You're a famous prestidigitator, ain't you? Go! Go! Hey, what's the mayor, please? Certainly, sir. <laughs> Tonight at 10 on Plus. I'm serious when it comes to wrinkles, so I use new line eraser with pure retinol from L'Oreal Paris. It's one serious anti-wrinkle action you can now take, short of a facelift, and a lot more simple. Use nightly to reduce the appearance of first lines, fine lines, even those lines we've learned to live with. Objective measurements show a 48% reduction in the appearance of wrinkles. Me, have a facelift. Forget it. This is skincare from L'Oreal Paris, now also available as a day cream. Because I'm worth it. Call our chat and date line today and you could find your dream date. Call 0906 20 20 20 20. Call the virtual chat and date line. It's a great way to make friends on the phone. Get straight in on the action and call 0906 20 20 20 20. So go on, get in there. Call 0906 20 20 20 20. That's 0906 20 20 20 20. Call now. Size 16 to 30, be stylish, be smart, be confident, be casual, be dazzling, be desirable, 
Be yourself. In sizes 16 to 30, simply be. For your free copy, call 0800 169 7913 now. Hello, can I help? Okay. Tyres? Did you have anything specific in mind, sir? Surfing the web for a quick and easy low-cost car policy with the cast iron security of a century in insurance, ironshore.com. It couldn't be simpler. <laughs> the comedians. It's a killer that one, isn't it? Eh? I'm gonna walk into a psychiatrist. I can't stop telling lies. I don't believe it. <laughs> so I ain't telling, would it? The 1970s, when punchlines were punchlines. In the comedians tonight at 10:30 on Plus. Me here, pale face. You, never, never fear, redskin. That's right, Ducky. I just go lovely golden brown. <laughs> the world's greatest Spanish dancer, Jose Greco. <laughs> Hello, it's me, the seductive, desirable Kenneth Williams. Tonight, for the very first time, we present the Williams Brothers. There's me, and there's him. May it stay in the week till good day. May the love is much over you. Hi, folks. This is Andy Wood. Sounds more like Esther Williams. <laughs> what a load of meretricious infantile borderdairs. <laughs> oh, and he bowed. <laughs> the terror of the Caribbean. Really? In the flesh, not the cartoon. Aren't you long, John Silver? Aye, and that's the R.U.B. R.U.B.? I be fine, and R.U.B. <laughs> R.S.K. Roscoe. And this is the Emperor speaking. We're having a good time on Midday Spin. Roscoe remembers the golden oldies. Roscoe remembers Gene Vincent. Roscoe remembers Gene Vincent, Jerry Lee Lewis. She knows how she does it.
<laughs> Super fantastic and bless you. <laughs> Tonight, our guest is that absolutely fantastic all-round entertainer, Mr. Frankie Vaughan. Tell me, Frankie, is it true you've just finished a new film? Yeah, that's right, David, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I play the part of an astronaut who falls in love on the moon, you know? <laughs> Do you think we could hear the fantastic super song you sing in that film? Certainly. <laughs> Give me the earth light. Give me the girl. And leave the rest to me. Fantastic. <laughs> On the night in question, I was in Bore. Beaver. Pardon? Beaver. It's spelt B U R Y, but it is pronounced Beaver. <laughs> oh, well, if I can just explain that to the ladies and gentlemen sitting on the jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Roscoe remembers the golden oldies. Roscoe remembers Gene Vincent. Jerry Lee Lewis. Roy Orbison. Gotta see my baby again. Don't know where or don't know when. Maybe I'll be happier then. On Blue Bayou. And I am Jackson Gay. Come what may. On Blue Bayou. Will you sleep on? Thank you, thank you very much. I met a man the other day, he said, my wooden leg is giving me a lot of pain. I said, how can a wooden leg give you a lot of pain? He said, my wife keeps hitting me over the head with it. <laughs> the bells! The bells may be deaf, you know. The bells may be deaf, 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 you know. Leave these sacred precincts of Notre Dame, you cursed monster. They're about quarter past four. Eh? <laughs> I knew you'd say that. I had a hunch about it. <laughs> Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. No hell below us. Above us, only sky Imagine all the people Living life in peace You, you may say I'm a dreamer But I'm not here Number one, coming up, lug holes at the Red Air. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. Obviously. I'd uh, like a pair of shoes, please. Belly pumps, if you like. Belly pumps? Yes. What size? 
<laughs> Size nine, big. Mm, big boy. <laughs> Wonder what he does for a living. <laughs> what colour? Uh, pink. You've only got black. Black then. Nice toes, have They came with my feet. <laughs> That's the little piggy that went to market, you know. This little piggy's getting none. <laughs> you played your cards wrong, it. Oh, How does feel, pet? <laughs> oh, I think these are good. I think I could fly in these. Really? <laughs> Arthur's opening his new bistro, Cousin Nostra. Sounds ever so classy, doesn't it? But an old acquaintance wants to settle an old score, so hopefully the plates are unbreakable. Minder is next on Plus. You're watching Plus.